day for Monday. Sugoi. Okay, so we've actually gone to this part of the flowchart, but apparently if you want to get the full ending, you need to do all the other ones. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go backwards. We're going to go back and see the other side of things. So this one, we're going to begin to sync and it's uh, Monday, sinking in the swain. Proceed, yes. So this is the green shelf. So check the plate. The plate attached to the shelf. The cold has frosted over it. Um, I guess we'll punch it. Uh, no, we probably should use some time. Let's punch it. Yeah. Nothing is happening. Oh. I was only using ninety-two percent of my power. That's basically a hundred percent. Well, that didn't work. Uh, let's go to the next one. Agent Date, you've got four minutes. Got it. A plate attached to the shelf. The cold has frosted over it. Maybe we breathe on it. So we're gonna use a timey and breathe on it. Oh, there we go. B. I would be happier about D. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Okay. Maybe we a just gotta. Attached to the shelf. The cold has okay, so maybe we just breathe on all of them. Yeah, Date is like that. See. I see. <laughs> right. I see. I don't know how to get up there. Yeah. Oh yeah, and you also have limited time. A plate attached to the shelf. If you haven't realized, um, yeah, so we have limited time and we're using time to kind of like do actions. But then something strange happened. What's happening? Ooh. Oh, that's bright. Oh I see. Yeah, there's a lot of puns in this game. We're out of options! Tessa! <laughs> if this was another, I would have died already. Next time, he will get me. That's just destiny. Okay. What was that? I have no idea, man. <laughs> no, I will fight destiny and win. So he says. I'm the one who has to help him. Mm -hmm. We have to make Hero of Justice Ota fight back and look cool doing it. Something to do with the wooden box, right? It has to be. A wooden box. Oh man, it costs a lot just to investigate. Well, we'll investigate it anyways. Only a wooden box. I see. Either that or the Pandora's box from Mars. Doubt it. Okay, well that. A wooden box. That sucked. Um. Let's use the timey. Uh, we'll push it because I'm pretty sure we push it to the forklift or something. Push it over to Ota. Oh. <laughs> She's too tiny. It doesn't move. You only win with the power friendship. <laughs> A small wooden box? Okay, maybe the forklift? A forklift. Um we can't push it. What's I don't know what sorty is, but we're gonna do sorty. What? Sorty? This is Ota's world, right? Your role in this dream is to assist Ota in his fight against the polar bear. Lousy Ota. Thanks to him, my image as a cool intellectual has been destroyed. <laughs> All systems Pray. Agree. <laughs> Synchronization.
production rate, 6%. Now, cargo handling car. Forklift. Sorty. Wait, what? Hey, forklift. Fork over that weapon now. No way. <laughs> Iris like that? We have no choice but to have Ota do it. We need him to stand up. How weak is this guy, man? Ota is still down. Uh, it doesn't matter what we do, but we're gonna cheer. <laughs> yes. Ota will feel the worth of Iris's <laughs> peace when he grasps it. The ghost inside me whispered. That's right. I can't run away now. I can't sacrifice Tessa! Look at a little eye by there. <laughs> no way. There! Why? Oh! <laughs> Is that the bad end? <laughs> Awaken, lift this fighting spirit. Okay. Day four, Monday, Jikai. Sorry that I had to get rough with you, kid. Seriously, dude? Come on. So sorry, Ota. Date told me to be the bad cop. <laughs> I did not. Temper, temper. Whatever. Anyway, Ota, I have some things I want to ask you. I'm not going to beat around the bush. Let me get right down to it. Your mother, Mayumi Matsushita, was at the warehouse, wasn't she? Uh, what are you talking about? The knife, Oda, the was knife. Was she there? Why would she be? That happened at 3 a.m. She was at home asleep. Then why did we find evidence at the crime scene? Exactly. Evidence? Sure, it might not prove she was there, but it makes it likely. The evidence is... And here we go. Clue list. So we've got the clues. What we're going to do is we're going to look at each one of them. So Okiura Fishery. Okiura Fishery is a company owned by Mizuki's grandfather. However, the management team changed 17 years ago. It currently has no connections to the Okiura family. And allegedly, Mizuki's grandfather was raised by dolphins. <laughs> yes, we found that out. Okay, streaming equipment. A video camera and laptop were discovered in the warehouse. Either could have been left by the criminal, but determining the owner through purchase history will be difficult. Yeah, actually, I don't think it should be that difficult, right? If the Unless they got it from a pawn shop, I guess, then it's a bit more difficult. No fingerprints were picked up either. Damn, that's clean. Okay, Doki... No, Odoroki Man Chocolate. Odoroki Man Chocolate. This was discovered in the corner of the warehouse. Mayumi Matsushita's fingerprints were found on the package. Oh! There we go. Mayumi purchased the chocolate yesterday at 10.33 p.m. The purchase was made at an 812 convenience store. The store was located approximately 100 yards from the Famista where Ota stole the station wagon. Hmm. Interesting. Two cars were parked in front of the warehouse. One was the van owned by the Matsushita family. Ota's fingerprints were detected on the driver's seat and steering wheel. Iris's fingerprints were detected on the passenger seat. Very good. The other car was a station wagon. Yesterday at 10.33 p.m., Ota stole this station wagon. 
It was parked at the Famisto along Koshu Highway. Ota explained his reasoning for stealing the car. He claims that while he was inside the Famisto, someone took off with the van with Iris still inside. Ota decided to steal the station wagon parked nearby to give pursuit. Ota searched for the van in his stolen vehicle. Our investigation determined that Iris and the van were taken one minute before Ota stole the station wagon. This puts the incident occurring at 10.32 p.m. Okay, is everyone up to scratch now? So, this criminal managed to take the van off Ota while he was distracted. Left no fingerprints in the van. That's how crazy this criminal is. Alright, now we've got the floor pattern kitchen knife. The polar bear dropped the weapon in Ota's Somnium. It was the floral pattern kitchen knife. On the handle were the words, Mom, I love you always. Date. From this, we can conclude that the knife... I know. So I'm going to show this one, actually. Let's do it. I took it out of my pocket and showed him. The Hodoroki Man chocolate. The same one I showed you at the hospital. I found it in the corner of the cold storage warehouse. So? That doesn't prove anything. Mayumi's fingerprints were on the package. What? Yeah, I'm surprised as you are, Oda. You have a bad poker face, Ota. <laughs> your reaction tells me Mayumi didn't give this to you and you dropped it on your own. Yo, yes. That's what I, that was my original thought. That information is confirmed. Ota's fingerprints were not found on the package. Mm. Mom isn't the killer! I didn't say that she was. I'm saying that she was at the scene. And so are you. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Why do you think Mayumi isn't the killer, Ota? Ah, good question, boss. Because I was face to face with that polar bear when we fought. I could tell it wasn't my mom even through the costume. And no matter what happened, there's no way that my mom would stab me. Why are you covering for her? Covering? That's why you're lying to me, right? I'm not. Are you sure about that? Check you his temperature. Seen direct evidence of Mayumi being at the warehouse, but you're hiding that from us. Mm. Yeah, why is Oda hiding that from us? Or maybe even you're starting to suspect her. Ooh. I am not. Sure. What are you accusing me of anyway? What do you think I'm hiding? I don't know. Let me see. Uh, you have a history of lying. Well, not lying, but history of withholding information. Uh, you hit me in the head with a walk, which left me unconscious and created this whole scenario. I don't know, Oda. Yeah, let's go with the knife. Let's go with what I said originally. Let's go with the knife. Let's show him the knife. The kitchen knife with a floral pattern. Mom, I love you always is carved on the handle. Ota gave me that knife for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. Ah, oh, she's so sweet. He knows how much I love flowery designs. You were stabbed by that very same knife. How do you know that? Oh, here he goes. He's spilling. This is why you need a lawyer. <laughs> Not that it will help you much. The criminal ran away with the knife. No one was supposed to see it. Mm -hmm. That's why I got the technology to see inside your brain, son. I knew it. No, my mom didn't do it. Then why did you not mention the kitchen knife earlier? Mm. Oh, the boss is cornering the cornering Oda. Because I know how it looks. I thought mom would get accused. And then she would have been brought in here and interrogated. I didn't want to put her through that. And... And? Mom never liked Tessa. Yes, she did hate Tessa. So maybe... Just maybe. Yeah, that's right. It gives um gives her motive. Mom hired someone to kill Tessa. Okay, what? That just sounds insane. Ota, I don't know how your imagination works, but that sounds insane. And she gave them that kitchen knife. Yeah, that just sounds insane. I don't know. I thought of it that way. That's some overactive imagination, son. <laughs> Like that would ever happen. Exactly. I know it sounds crazy, but after I saw that knife, I just lost it. Hmm. Please, you have to believe me. 
Mom isn't a serial killer. Well, the thing is, we only got evidence to the contrary. Um, but we need hard evidence, so unfortunately, Odo, you're lucky. Yeah, I agree. You do? I do. I don't think it's possible for Mayumi to have kidnapped Iris. Exactly. I mean, Mayumi's got dementia, so <laughs> the, the likelihood of she able to doing able to do all this is almost zero. Because. Well, first things first. Um, I definitely think it's this. It couldn't have been her because there's no fingerprints on the car. I'd say. So let's just do the car. See how we go. Might not be the greatest. The Matsushita's van was stolen from the parking lot of the Famista while Iris was in the car. That was yesterday, 10:32 p.m. One minute later, at the 8:12, which was about a hundred yards away, Mayumi bought the Odoroki man chocolate. She entered the 8:12 about a minute earlier. Exactly. This was all caught on security cameras at the store. That means it's impossible that Mayumi could have taken the van. Unless she's got super speed. <laughs> or an evil twin. Who knows? And that means that Mayumi being the polar bear is also next to impossible. Phew. However, I can't completely clear her. Uh, that, that's pretty clear to me, Date. What? You said it yourself. She could have hired someone to commit the crime. Date, she has dementia. I, I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. But that was... In any case, I need to hear from Mayumi herself. You're gonna get nothing, Date. I need to hear her explain the chocolate, the knife. There's a lot to cover. But that's good thorough detective work. I'm gonna head to Matsushita Diner. What? Hey, well, wait a minute! Don't worry. I'm not going there to arrest her. I'm going there to clear her of suspicion. Really? Yes, really. Yes. It's our job. You won't arrest her? Can't promise that, though. Your mother wouldn't kill anyone. Right, Ota? Thank you, Date. Unless my name is secretly Sanic. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Matsushita Diner, Monday, 10 11 p.m. Sorry for the late night, Miss Matsushita. But I have some questions I need to ask you. Could you spare some time? I finally remembered about the warehouse. Hmm? What? I did it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We're ending the stream. That's it. We found the killer. We're out. We're done. <laughs> Mother looked like a squirrel though. I thought she, knew she looked familiar. Okay. Let's see what she did. I did everything. What did you do? Day 5, Tuesday. Zagai. Called it? What? Police headquarters, Tuesday, 10.04 AM. I didn't do this last night because I wanted to give you a chance to calm down. Dude, I think she's just saying that to protect her child. That's all it is. How are you, now that you've slept on it? What are you talking about? I'll be honest, I don't think you're the killer. You're giving us a false confession. Exactly. No, it's true. I kidnapped that witch, I took her to the warehouse, and... Put her on the table and pulled her eyeball out? Boss, you're not supposed to divulge in evidence. You want the confession to come out from some fake, even if it's fake, you want them to release all that information so they can cross-examine where the mistakes are, so you know that for 100%, well not 100%, but with great certainty that this person is not the father. <laughs> I mean, not the killer. Yes. And the polar bear costume? I bought it through mail order. Well, we can check that, Mayumi, and then we can find out it's false. And you were the one wearing it? Yes, that's right. You, you can't lead the... Oh, these, these people are the worst cops and detectives. The worst. Date, the criminal has confessed. Arrest her immediately. <laughs> I think they're just playing with her. You got to the top of the abyss acting like that? 
I heard that she used to be an actress. Well, she's not a great one. Lol, boss is going through midlife underground living crisis. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> Sounds about right. All right, Mayumi. Let's have a look at you. Mayumi looks tense. Yes, she does. Uh, let's see. Let's just go with. Why did you kidnap Iris? My son is under that witch's spell. Merchandise, concerts. She's bleeding him dry. I wanted to snap him out of it. I wanted to save him. You know what? She's a great mother. She tried to get her own son to stop simping. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, were you the one who stabbed Ota? That's sh that should shock her. Well, uh, that's right. That's right, Mayumi. Were you? Were you? Didn't think so. You were in the polar bear costume, right? That means you stabbed him. Yes, I, I stabbed him with the knife I brought from home. Oh, that one's. I, I wasn't trying to hurt him. He fought me, and then it just... Rush, well, back to your tense face. Why did you want to stream it online? Because the world needs to see that witch die. <laughs> oh wow, that's um... That's conviction right there. Just a quick question, Mayumi. Do you know anything about online streaming? Yeah, exactly. I'm not stupid. I might be old, but... But could you explain it to me? Huh? <laughs> Love how her expression changes and say, like, huh? <laughs> step by step. Just tell me what you did. I can't explain it in words. It's more like muscle memory. So if we just give you the same device as you know seen in this incident, she should have no problems, right? I was able to get it working after trying a few times, that's all. All right. Why did you take out her eye? Because I, I just hated her so much. Killing her wasn't enough. That seems a bit overkill. That definitely is how my mother responds when I ask her to open a website. <laughs> yes, that's true. Uh, golden. Alright, Mayumi, where did you get the camera and laptop? I picked them out of the garbage. Yeah, do you, do you see how her her whole story just falls apart here? Which garbage? Uh, I, I don't remember. It's true, I planned the whole thing. Uh, yes, yes, yes. We believe you, we believe you. Okay. About the Cyclops killings. What do you know about the Cyclops killer? We call the criminal we're after the new Cyclops killer. I know. They killed Shoko Nadami and Renju Okura. That's right. Both corpses were found with their left eye pulled out. Same as Iris. This leads us to believe that the crimes were all committed by the same person. Hmm. So this person in the polar bear costume, they are the new Cyclops killer. And you're telling me, that person is you? You killed Shoko and Renju? Yes, I killed them. <laughs> sure, Grandma, sure. <laughs> what was your motive? Isn't Renju Okura the president of that awful company where the witch works? He's just as responsible. Using her to steal time and money from vulnerable kids. And I'm sure he was debaucherous and degenerate. That man is the root of all evil. That's why I killed him. Alright, what about the woman? Why did you kill Shoko? Rinju's ex-wife, right? Yes. I did it to get to him. But the two divorced four years ago. Matter the bonds of matrimony are eternal. 
In your opinion, I don't think Renju felt the same way. <laughs> you are really starting to aggravate me. What are you gonna do? Kill me? And take my left eye? <laughs> uh, let's see what you guys are saying. How shocking words, mother. <laughs> I, I feel like it's her though. Uh, I, I mean... Her testimony sucks. It really does. I answered your questions, so there. But not only that, I think the problem is that Date and the boss are just leading the leading her to this these kind of stuff. These are the these are terrible questions to ask if you want a true confession. All right. When and how did you kill her? Well, I don't remember. How convenient. What do you mean you don't remember? Do you really think that lie is gonna work? Uh, I have a memory disorder. Next scene, you're missing another eye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't always remember everything. It's not my fault. But you remember the cold storage warehouse. There are times I remember and times I don't remember. It changes. Date. Mayumi is not lying about that in particular. Yes, she has dementia, I got it. There are circumstances that might cause selective memory. For whatever reason, her memory might not have been stored properly in her mind. Yes, dementia, we got it. This is not uncharacteristic for those suffering from dementia. Thank you, Aiba. Okay, so, why are you lying? I am not lying! You do know that perjury is a crime, right? I'm telling you, I'm not lying! I killed Shoko and Rinju, and I tried to cut that demon witch in half! Date, there's no point in letting this go on. She's clearly lying. Yeah, no shit, boss. You seemed convinced earlier. I was kidding. I don't think she's the killer. I am the killer! I am! Right now, we have to rely on hard evidence. Exactly. The Odoroki Man chocolate that Mayumi bought was found at the warehouse. If Mayumi was at the scene before Ota, she may have seen the criminal's face. Yes, now we're getting somewhere. You know what I'm going to say, right? Yeah, it's time to lock her up in jail. Now, of course, we've got to sync it with her. Date, sync with her. Yes, boss. Computer, we're going to sync with Mayumi Matsushita. Prepare the machine. Um, well... Uh, oh, I don't like this. What happened? The sync machine isn't operating to capacity. What the hell does that mean? Yesterday's sync... Well, suffice to say, uh, Oda and Date were... not too compatible. Compatible? I'll give you the big picture. Yes, please. To get the synchronization working properly, I had to push the machine pretty hard. And now, it's not responding. How bloody convenient is this? How long will it take to fix? 16 hours. At least. Oof. You've got eight. Ooh, bigger oof. <laughs> but that's impossible. So we can't sync yet, huh? But we need to, or this investigation is going nowhere. Date, I suggest we go to Matsushita Diner. We may be able to find some clues. Good idea. I let Boss and Pewter know. Pewter, we're counting on you for those repairs. I'll be back in six hours. Did you say eight? But you said eight. <laughs> Man, this boss, you know. It's a slave driver. Please, you have to give me at least eight. <laughs> that pewter, always so humble. He'll have it done in six. <laughs> he should have said in five, Date. Yeah, pewter is just that kind of guy, you know? Wow. Hey, this is a hostile work environment. 